G'day Bambies, Kaleido here and welcome back to another Sims 4 Tiny Homes build. So it's been quite some time, hasn't it? Oh my gosh, I say that every time. Let's just stop saying that and hello. I hope you guys are all well. It is like Wednesday, Thursday, Thursday while I'm recording this. So midweek, really excited for the weekend. Do you guys have any plans? I sure don't, not yet anyways, <laughs> but uh, anyways, I'm really excited to share with you guys this build because it's something kind of unique. I saw this on house, well I saw the idea of a home with many windows, so I thought why not have our own spin of that. Uh, actually, at the beginning of this video, we are building something entirely different to that, but I end up being inspired by that idea. Uh, I just kind of go, oh, I remember that video I watched where that house had all of those reclaimed windows. So um, basically, these people, they went to, I don't know where they went to. I have a feeling there's a lot of reclaimed wood, uh, sort of like junkyards, but they're not really a junkyard. It's where people collect stuff and then you can go there and just buy it. Uh, they seem to have a lot of those in the in America, but I haven't been able to like hear about any here in Australia, but I guess I haven't looked hard enough. But anyways, they found a whole bunch of reclaimed frames, all different and unique, and they made an entire front part of their tiny home made out of all of these different window frames, and it just looked stunning. Oh my gosh, if I can find a picture of it, I will pop it in right here for you guys. It was just absolutely beautiful. Instead of just having one big glass pane at the front of the house, they just had this interesting, almost art piece, like abstract art piece on the front of their home, and it was just so beautiful. So in The Sims 4, this is actually quite a challenge because you can only have one window per uh, block, per per line, per one wall. Anyways, that was terrible explanation, but basically the windows go like a weird opaque and you can kind of see the wall behind it. Opacity um, kind of just doesn't work out when you're trying to layer them. So I had to kind of hide that. Uh, you guys can kind of see a bugging out here and there. So what I do is end up getting some of those closed windows and try to hide the fact that it's bugging out. But I still think that it works out really nice. And it looks like such a interesting like wall. It's just so abstract. I really like it anyways. I hope you guys don't mind the little bugs here and there, but maybe that's something that EA needs to work on. Maybe with BB move objects that cheat Maybe they should figure out a way to make the windows work so then you can layer them up. I feel like we could make some really interesting builds if we could do that with windows because I've run into this issue in other builds, but usually I'll be like, oh, okay, I can't do it. And I'll just go and do change whatever idea I had and do something different. But with this one, I really wanted to layer them up and it was kind of hard. But let me know, I use stained glass windows to kind of hide the fact too, because you know, they already colored, so you can't really see that they're bugging out as easily. Uh, but yeah, let me know what you guys think of it. I add in even more windows later on into this build, but basically this home is sort of like a representation of a tiny house that I would kind of like to build in the future for myself. Uh, but this is more for an artsy person, so maybe me back when I was in art school, because we do have an art studio which is separate to the rest of the house. Uh, I'm not sure if I talked to you guys about what my dream tiny home for me would be. Uh, maybe I should create that in an actual build, in a video for you guys. Um, but I'll just quickly mention some little aspects of what it would be like for you guys so you understand why I started talking about it. I would love to have a tiny house and all of the things that a tiny house entails, but 
I would also like a separate office area and that would be where I'd have like YouTube, like my computer and all of that stuff, but it would be separated from my living space. So it is an office, like an office little home, like a little shed. Uh, so that's why I kind of played around with that in this build and I thought uh, definitely a very feminine person, not sure a boy or girl, whatever, uh, lives here. They also have a bathroom upstairs, which is a little bit of a hassle, meaning this house is probably not my actual dream tiny home because I would not want to go all the way, like up the stairs, walk out uh, along the balcony and then through my bedroom into the bathroom. Uh -uh, no, no, no. That's just way too far. What if I'm busting? I'm, I'm going to need to get to a loot, okay? But anyways, that's the only floor that I can really think about with this tiny home. And I really feel like if you're going to build a tiny house, you got to think about how you're going to use it. Like, um, is it easy to get around? Is everything accessible? And the toilet is definitely a little bit of an issue in this one, but it still works out, you know. That's the challenge of making tiny homes uh, in real life. And I haven't made one in real life, but one day I will. That is like my dream come true. Uh, but in The Sims, it's also a challenge trying to fit everything in. And that's why I'm like addicted to making them because they're just so much fun. And I'm excited to make more of these videos for you guys. Let me know, would you like to see these like once a week or maybe more? Uh, do you see this as a natural series or do you just see it as like a random videos? Uh, I'm interested. Do you want to see more of this? Just let me know. Let me know because I'm making some changes on my channel recently, especially when it comes to my content. So knowing what you guys want is really going to help me out uh, with kind of scheduling, scheduling things, being an adult for once in my life. <laughs> but anyways, inside of here is looking very lovely. I was kind of theming it around pinks and teals at first, but I do pop in some other colors here and there in a little bit because I thought, you know what, that's a little bit boring. I want to add in some more color and it does look nice like this, but I'm just such a color. I, I like color, okay? I, I, my name is Collider. I love color. We gotta have some more color in here. We can't just have two colors, blue and pink. We can't just have that. Anyways, I am fixing up the floor. Really didn't like the color of that floor paneling, whatever, boards, floorboards. And that little table actually was the thing that changed my mind about making everything colorful. So it's basically a rainbow table. And then I was like, oh gosh, I need to make this fit in here. And I'm so glad that I did because look how great this is turning out. It's so lovely in here. We also have that very fancy lounge, uh, two-seater against the wall there to look at the giant TV on the wall. So that's something that you not often see in tiny homes. It's a giant plasma TV. Oh wait, we don't have plasma TVs anymore. Um, what are they called now? HD? A HD TV flat screen? There we go. <laughs> Who has a plasma TV? Oh my gosh, I remember when they came out and remember they were only out for a few years and then it came out on the news that they were actually really bad for you. Like they emitted some sort of radiation or something. But oh my gosh, many of you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. But yeah, I wonder if there were any other weird like little technological things back when I was a kid that were banned. I have no idea. What else did we have? Oh, but anyways, we did have DVD players. I'm sure people still have that. Not like I don't think people don't use them anymore because they're dangerous or anything like plasma screens were. But um, people just don't use DVD players. I haven't seen one in years. Usually you just buy it online, a movie, or you just get like HBO or Netflix and you don't really need a DVD player, right? Or you just go to the movies. I've been really enjoying going to a cinema lately, like sitting in there, having popcorn, big drink of Coke or something like that. Uh, yes, guys, you can have popcorn 
if you're vegan at a cinema, all you have to do is do what I do and go to the go to the counter and be like, uh, is there butter in your popcorn? I'm allergic to milk. Because I feel like I'm such a jerk if I go up to the desk and I'm like, do you have milk in this? I'm vegan. Um, I just really don't like showcasing or like highlighting that fact. Not because I'm embarrassed of it, just because I'll get a better reaction from people and I'll have people actually look into it properly for me if I say that I'm allergic. But that's a little white fib. Uh, I usually say that I'm like, if they can check if there's egg, because I actually am allergic to egg, like I have intolerance to it. So uh, that one, <laughs> that one is not a white fib. So I'm kind of used to asking about eggs already. Uh, but anyways, the milk one, it's very easy. Most cinemas have vegan popcorn, by the way, because the butter isn't real butter. It's usually just oil. And believe it or not, guys, oil is vegan. Oil comes from plants unless you're, I don't know, cooking your bacon in pig fat. I, ugh, that sounds dreadful. Oh my gosh. Uh, oh my gosh, I love the lighting in this tiny home. It's so cozy, right? I really like the spotlights that I put into the kitchen there. It uh, kind of reminds me of my sister's house, actually. Uh, she kind of has those going on. Or oh, it might be her old house now, when I think about it. We are going to pop in a very tiny little bathroom here. So tiny. Oh, I do have an outdoor uh, little access there. I didn't realize. I thought I could only go into the bathroom via the bedroom so that's actually kind of handy but it's still quite a humbug going from downstairs all the way upstairs just to go to the loo but oh well that is just one of the difficulties with living in this little tiny home so i really like this feature shelf wall that i've placed in here i think it's really cute and this wall paneling really matches the floorboards so I'm pretty sure I changed the exterior of the house to match that too later on, but that might be in a little bit. Uh, <laughs> loving the art studio. It's looking great. Everything's really coming together. I love filling up tiny homes and I feel like if I had a tiny home, it probably would be quite cluttered, even though the ones that I see online are usually quite... Uh, clean like all of the surfaces are clean and uncluttered and every time I'm decorating in the sims anyways I get really into decorating and cluttering it up and just making it look lived in I really hope I don't do that in real life but I probably will knowing me uh, so now we're on the inside and loving how the sun is just coming through those windows and geez, it's such a pretty photo. I'm, I'm going to leave some screenshots at the end of this video so you guys get a whole idea of what it looks like. I really love that I also included like sort of a mini loft. That's what the bedroom, well, it's a big loft, I suppose, but there's a little bit of a space where you can look down from the bedroom into the lounge room, which I really like. Uh, I've always wanted to live in a house like that ever since I was little, actually. I just think they're so much fun. Here I am experimenting with the shoe racks. Don't remember this, okay? <laughs> I don't remember doing this. I'm really trying to make it work though. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, I gave up. What am I gonna do now? Oh, oh, okay, what am I gonna do with this boat boots? Oh man, I'm gonna cover it up with a pop plant because that is how we do. That is how we do. <laughs> That is so funny. It still looks all right. I, I kind of like it. I don't remember doing that. <laughs> That's so funny. Have our li another little dining table outside. We have lots of little sitting spaces. I also like how in the kitchen, I made the dining table also a part of the counter. I think that was kind of smart. Looks all right, hopefully. Uh, now we're adding in some more windows on the side here and I'm trying desperately to make it work, but it is quite difficult as I was saying before to try to make it, I don't know, they just keep going opaque and 
it was very bothersome, but I'm glad that I kind of figured it out in the end. I have a feeling I add way too many windows. I think I get rid of some of them because I just didn't like the effect, especially on the bottom floor, but I leave the ones on the top floor because it just looks really lovely. Especially like, imagine sitting there in bed, like this is at Windenburg on one of the island lots. So sitting on your bed and then you have all of these reclaimed antique, I don't know, window frames that just look out to the ocean over the bay or whatever it is and it's just gorgeous. I also think with the stained glass the light in the morning and afternoon would come through in different colors and I just love the idea of yeah the light coming through and because of all the different shapes creating the window it would really make a, a light show of its own don't you think like how the light filters into the house. Uh, so I wish that I, hopefully I got some screenshots. We'll just have to wait and see until the end. But yeah, of course they had to have a little bit of a garden upstairs because you know me, bit of a green thumb. So I gotta have some plants, a little garden for us to plant some veggies in or some flowers, succulents probably. I also put in a little bit of a garden around the entire thing because I just love greenery, you gotta include it in all of my builds and I just don't think a house is complete until we have some bushes and trees and flowers and stuff. Uh, but yeah, really happy with how this house is coming along. Here we are changing up the sidings of the whole house. I think it looks so much better than it did before but it also means that we have to change up the columns. But I also think that the white columns are a lot nicer. And they really, I don't know, pulls the whole build together, I feel. Um, and now I'm changing up the staircase too. Everything is looking so much nicer. I'm really happy with this build, guys. And I hope you guys like it too. Uh, by the way, I just want to mention that I have indeed restarted my Tumblr page. It's actually a simpler. So make sure you guys go and check it out. The link is down below. I will be posting screenshots of my games there and also other little things. I still have to update it, but I am going to have a resources section where I will have all of the custom content, like my base custom content uh, linked for you guys. Because I know that's something that a lot of you have been asking for a long time and I think it would be easier than doing a video for me to just have it on a Tumblr page. So please make sure if you use Tumblr that you go and follow me over there. It's just collido.tumblr.com and I am going to be posting pictures as I said and I'm also going to be updating like my frequently asked questions and also all of my custom content queries and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, just fixing up some things here. I really wanted there to be a bit more of a, I don't know, a shelving around the bed to encase it. So I'm really happy with how that goes. Got some candles around there. Not sure if that's actually safe or not, but the best thing about The Sims 4, well, one of the best things is that you can have as many candles as you like and the house won't burn down. Hopefully. Anyways, hopefully. Oh my God. But yeah, guys, here we go with the screenshots. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, let me know again. How often would you like to see a tiny home? Once a week? Twice a week? I'm trying to figure out a new schedule, so it would be very helpful if you guys let me know. And also let me know like what other series you guys are looking forward to. Oh, and before I go, also want to mention this build will be on the gallery for you guys. So I'm just Kaleido on there also. Um, but yeah, guys, I hope you all have a fantastic day. I love you all to bips, and I'll see you all in another video very, very soon. Goodbye.